You will hear a young man phoning a town's youth council. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning, Youth Council. Caroline speaking. Oh, hello. I'm interested in standing for election to the Youth Council, and I was told to give you a call. That's good. Could I have your name, please? Yes, it's Roger Brown. Thank you. The young man's name is Roger Brown, so Brown has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Good morning, Youth Council. Caroline speaking. Oh, hello. I'm interested in standing for election to the Youth Council, and I was told to give you a call. That's good. Could I have your name, please? Yes, it's Roger Brown. Thank you. I'm Caroline, the Youth Council Administrator. So, do you know much about what the Council does, Roger? I've talked to Stephanie. I think she's the Chair of the Council. That's right. And she told me a lot about it. How it's a way for young people to discuss local issues, for example, and make suggestions to the town council. That's what made me interested. Fine. Well, let me take down some of your details. First of all, how old are you? You know the council is for young people aged from 13 to 18. I've just turned 18. And where do you live, Roger? Uh, well, uh, that's a bit complicated. At the moment, I'm looking for a flat to rent here, so I'm in a hostel from Monday to Friday. I go back to my parents' place at the weekend. OK. So where's the best place to send you some information about the council? Oh, to my parents' address, please. That's 17 Buckley Street, B-U-C-K-L-E-I-G-H Street, Stamford, Lincolnshire though you don't really need the county. Oh, I know Stamford. It's a lovely town. And what's the postcode? P-E-9-7-Q-T. Right, thank you. So are you working here or are you a student? I started studying at the university a couple of weeks ago and I've got a part-time job for a few hours a week. What do you do? Well, I've done several different things. I've just finished a short-term contract as a courier, and now I'm working as a waiter in one of the big hotels. Uh-huh. That can't leave you much time for studying. Oh, it's not too bad. I managed to fit it all in. What are you studying? My ambition is to go into Parliament eventually, so my major subject is politics. That's partly why I think the Youth Council is important and want to be a part of it. And I suppose you're also taking a minor subject, aren't you? I know a lot of people study economics, too. I chose history. To be honest, I'm not finding it as interesting as I expected. Before you hear the rest of the phone call, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10.
Okay, so with your studying and your part-time job, do you have time for any other interests or hobbies? Well, I spend quite a lot of time cycling, both around town to get to university and to work, and also long distance, from here to London, for instance. That's pretty impressive. Anything else? For relaxation, I'm also keen on the cinema. I used to go at least once a week, but I can't manage to go so often now. Right. Are you sure you'll have enough time for the Youth Council? Yes, I've worked out that I can afford to reduce my hours at work and that will make the time. So is there any particular aspect of the Youth Council's work that appeals to you, Roger? Well, my sister is blind, so I'm particularly interested in working with disabled young people to try and improve the quality of their lives. That's great. Well, the best way to get involved is to be nominated by some people who you know. Right. Can you tell me how to set about organising that? You should talk to Geoffrey, our elections officer. I can arrange a meeting in the council office with him, if you like. Yes, please. He'll be here next Monday, if that suits you. That's the 14th, isn't it? Yes. I can manage late afternoon. Would you like to suggest a time? He generally leaves around 5.30. Well, would 4.30 be OK? My last class finishes at 4, so I'd have plenty of time to get to your office. Right, that's fine. Oh, and could I have a phone number we can contact you on? Yes, my mobile number's 077 1367 Thank you. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Bye.